I'm David Story, and this is the Look News 411. Voters heading to the polls on this primary day to decide on several local races. One of note is the Saratoga County Sheriff Republican primary, where Jeff Gildersleeve and Michael Zerlo are running for the single Republican line. Polls are open until 9 p.m. A potential strike against Syria could be on hold tonight after the country's government accepted a deal proposed by the Russians that would place the country's chemical weapons under international control for dismantling. Despite that agreement, President Obama remains skeptical that Syria will not follow through, and that's why local residents held a rally Monday to have their voices heard on the issue. A group gathered on Broadway to rally against any military action. I do not believe that we should be bombing Syria because there are too many unanswered questions. I'm an avid supporter of the president's agenda and I am very troubled by the fact that I cannot support him in this. The rally was part of a nationwide protest to convince leaders to vote against a bill to send missiles into the region in response to alleged use of chemical weapons. Well, Tuesday marks, actually Wednesday marks 12 years since the September 11th terrorist attacks and two area communities will officially mark the day with remembrance ceremonies. In Glens Falls, a ceremony will be held at 9.03 a.m. at the 9-11 Memorial located next to the Ridge Street Fire Station, while at 7 p.m. in Warrensburg, a vigil will take place at the bandstand located at the corner of Main and Elm Streets. This year, the city of Saratoga Springs has no official event planned at the 9-11 Memorial located in High Rock Park. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says a man was driving his car nearly five times the legal limit. 41-year-old Richard LaFerrier of Kingsbury was arrested Sunday afternoon after a woman he knows called police to tell him that he was stumbling and falling out of his vehicle. The woman took LaFerrier's keys and police determined he had a blood alcohol level of 0.39%. The legal limit for operating a vehicle is 0.08%. Now, he was taken to Glens Falls Hospital, then charged and released. Continuing coverage on the future of professional hockey in Glens Falls now, Mayor Jack Diamond has announced he will meet the American Hockey League's Board of Governors to discuss why the city should have an AHL team. The Adirondack Phantoms will leave the Glens Falls Civic Center at the end of the upcoming season. Did you miss our first play-by-play -play high school game of the week between Hudson Falls and Skylerville? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We will air a special encore presentation of our first game of the season this Wednesday night at 8 p.m. We won't tell you who won, but I will tell you Skylerville's Josh Thomas is our first contender for the Jenny Montgomery Scott Leadership Grant. The latest headlines are always here on the website and we're on air weeknights at 6 and 10 p.m. Look News can be found on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 68.